Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to explore a fascinating question. Why is there no bridge between Europe and Africa? You might think that building a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar, which is only 14 kilometers wide at its narrowest point, would be a great idea to connect the two continents and facilitate trade, tourism, and cultural exchange. But as it turns out, there are many challenges and obstacles that make this project very difficult, if not impossible, to realize. Let's find out why. First of all, let's talk about the geography of the Strait of Gibraltar. The strait is a narrow passage of water that separates the Atlantic Ocean from the Mediterranean Sea. It is also the meeting point of two tectonic plates, the Eurasian Plate and the African Plate. These plates are constantly moving and colliding, building seismic activity and mountain ranges in the region. The strait is also very deep. In some places, it reaches a depth of 900 meters, which is more than twice the height of the Eiffel Tower. This means that building a bridge over such a deep and unstable seabed would require enormous engineering skills and resources. Secondly, let's talk about the politics of the Strait of Gibraltar. The strait is a strategic location that controls access to the Mediterranean Sea and affects the security and economy of many countries. It is also a disputed territory that involves several claims and conflicts. For example, Spain and Britain have a long-standing dispute over Gibraltar, a British overseas territory that lies on the southern tip of Spain. Morocco and Spain also have a dispute over Cota and Melilla, two Spanish enclaves on the northern coast of Africa. And Algeria and Morocco have a dispute over Western Sahara, a former Spanish colony that is partially controlled by Morocco and partially by a rebel group called the Polisario Front. These disputes make it hard to reach an agreement on who would own and manage the bridge and how it would affect the sovereignty and interests of each party. Thirdly, Let's talk about the economics of the Strait of Gibraltar. The Strait is one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world, with more than 300 ships passing through it every day. It is also an important route for oil and gas pipelines that connect Europe and Africa. Building a bridge across the Strait would interfere with these maritime activities and build safety and environmental risks. It would also require a huge investment that might not be justified by the potential benefits. According to some estimates, building a bridge across the strait would cost between 10 and 15 billion euros, while generating only 5 billion euros in annual revenue from tolls and tourism. Moreover, building a bridge would not necessarily improve the connectivity between Europe and Africa, since there are already existing ferry services and air links that are faster and cheaper than crossing by road or rail. So, as you can see, Building a bridge between Europe and Africa is not as simple as it sounds. It would involve overcoming many technical, political, and economic challenges that make it unlikely to happen anytime soon. However, this does not mean that there is no hope for connecting the two continents in other ways. In fact, there have been several proposals to build a tunnel under the Strait of Gibraltar instead of a bridge. A tunnel would avoid many of the problems associated with a bridge, such as interfering with shipping lanes, building seismic hazards, or affecting the landscape. A tunnel would also be more feasible from an engineering point of view, since it could be built at a shallower depth than a bridge. The idea of building a tunnel under the Strait of Gibraltar has been around since 1930, when Spain first proposed it to France. Since then, several studies have been conducted to assess its feasibility and design. In 2003, Spain and Morocco launched a joint project to build a railway tunnel that would link their high-speed networks and allow passengers and freight to travel between Europe and Africa in less than an hour. The project was expected to cost around 8 billion euros and take about 15 years to complete. However, it has faced many delays and difficulties due to geological, financial, and political issues. However, in February 2023, after a high-level bilateral meeting between Spain and Morocco, the Moroccan and Spanish governments resolved to relaunch the project for an undersea railway tunnel under the Strait of Gibraltar. The project is planned to start construction in 2030. In June 2023, the Spanish government announced a 2.3 million euros funding package for a joint Spanish-Moroccan design and planning committee for the tunnel. The tunnel would connect the southern end of Spain's national high-speed train network with the northern end of the recently constructed Al Borac high-speed line from Casablanca to Tangiers, the first high-speed rail line in Africa. What do you think about this topic?
Do you think that building a bridge or a tunnel between Europe and Africa is a good idea or a bad idea? Why or why not? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also to subscribe to our channel.